Well, continuing coverage right now, the quarry fire still burning in Jefferson County this morning. It's now about 45% contained. Yeah, that's the time lapse video behind us there. Crews hoping to get some help putting it out for Mother Nature. Jim Hooley is live in Jefferson County this morning. And I, I'm, I'm sure they got some help last night, right, Jim? Because we just got doused with rain for hours yeah. in Douglas County. Yeah, all the neighbors we're talking to down here today, they said they got a lot of rain. It came down. The road was all wet. There's mud all over on the side of the road. Curve. That's a big help. Not enough, of course, to put this fire out. It actually grew over the past 24 hours to about 527 acres. Now, that's because they've had the hotshot crews in here, and they've been doing control burns, increasing some of the fire, but for a good reason. Here's what's happening out here right now. This is the very latest from the quarry fire now this morning. The fire crews have spent the, the past 24 hours setting those control burns, mainly on the west side of the fire zone. It's a really tough terrain up there. They're burning the heavy underbrush that's there and the growth that could fuel and add fuel to another fire if if it cropped up again. The goal is to return evacuated families here to their homes as quickly as possible. And some of that has happened already. Some people are already going back in two neighborhoods. They've already been allowed to go back to their homes. I think it's a good sign that they went from mandatory evacuation to pre-evac. Um, and obviously it's it's always nice to be back home. No, definitely. That's a great feeling for the people who are uh, out of their homes here at the quarry fire. The sheriff's office says that after those people are allowed to go home, they're going to maintain the roadblocks like the one that we have here on Valley Road for at least 48 hours for security reasons to let those people get back home, make sure it's safe and make sure they're able to settle in. No timetable as to when everybody else is going to go back, but that could happen uh, sooner than you think because, again, they've got some pretty good control. And can I just put a plug in here for my son? He's with the San Juan Hotshots. He just pulled up here with the truck and their UTVs. They're out of here right now. They've done their work with the control burns. They've accomplished all of that. They're on to a fire either in Utah or Idaho right now. But everybody optimistic down here now with the quarry fire. The thumbs up. They got rain in the forecast and uh, a little more containment and control of this fire here in Jefferson County. Live at the quarry fire, I'm Jim Hooley. I mean, not only can you give a shout out to your son, let us all give a shout yeah. out to your son and all those firefighters who, who do that. I mean, it's a dangerous job, Jim. And uh, I'm always thinking about your kid when I see these wildfires because I know I know that he does that. And uh, it's awesome that we have firefighters who are willing to walk into these things and try to put things them out. that we have to evacuate totally. from. I'm sure a proud moment for you as a dad, Jim. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.